Hi there, welcome to Quack Concepts. Today we'll be working on Power BI interview questions. First one is difference between Power BI and Tableau. Power BI is substantially cheaper when compared to Tableau. It is easier to customize dashboards in Power BI as compared to Tableau. There's more freedom. However, Tableau dashboards can easily be converted into different sizes like a tablet, phone, and a laptop. The dimensions are uh, already entered, so you can easily convert it, while Power BI gives you more flexibility in arranging your items on your dashboard. Then, Power BI has a relatively smaller community when compared to Tableau. Tableau has a vast community that can help you out and greater learning resources, etc. The most important difference is the volume of data. Power BI is not able to handle large volumes of data easily while Tableau is. So a company with which requires big data analysis over and over again would not prefer Power BI. Next up, we have difference between Power Query and Power Pivot. First, come over to Power BI and try to load a data set into your visualization software. You are able to see this framework. Over here, you get an option of transform data. This transform data option is supported by Power Query. Here, you can connect, transform, combine, and load your data set. Once you have loaded your data set, Power Pivot comes into play. In Power Pivot, you can create DAX formulas, you can define relationships between your different tables available, you can in create KPIs, etc. So Power Query is what you do when you're loading your data, the transformations you begin and the com the way you combine different data set, different data sets, etc. And Power Pivot is once you have loaded the data and working on, and are working on your uh, dashboarding the changes or the relationships that you define between each of these. Next up, we have what is DAX? If you define DAX, it is a data analysis expression, which is a programming language used throughout Power BI for creating calculated columns, measures, and custom tables. Now we can define we if we go over to our home call home ribbon and define a new measure or a quick measure. This is powered by DAX, which is basically a programming language where you are able to create calculations without having to put it into your data set. Next up we have filters in Power BI. Filters in Power BI are of three types: filters on your visualization. Let's add a visualization and we'll see. Filters on your visualization, filters on your page, and filters on all pages. There are also advanced filters and basic filtering. Basic filtering is just selecting which values you want to uh, show on your page or visual. While advanced filtering works a level ahead and you can define range or if it's a text string, the words that it must contain. There's a more detailed video on filters if you want to refer to it. Uh, next up, we have the question, what are the available views in Power BI? The first one is the report view. Report view is the one where you create your dashboard and your visualizations. The data view shows you your raw data that you're using or the transform data that you have loaded into your Power BI software. You're able to look at it, see uh, the changes need to be made, create a DAX formula in the view, etc. Then we have model view. Here you can connect different data or tables together through relations or joins and work simultaneously on your reports. Let's take a look at all of this in our Power BI. This is the report column asset where you create visuals and modeling. This is the uh, data view where you are able to view your data and add columns or tables, etc. Finally, you have the model view. We had more than one table, it would be depicted in a different box, and you could be able to join them. 
Next up, we have what are custom visuals in Power BI and why would you use it? Power BI offers us the option of creating custom visuals. Basically, you are able to install new packages from the Microsoft Store or via web that you can use while constructing your graphs. Why would you need to use it? Because uh, some because when you're working on advanced level of visualizations, the basic visualizations available in Power BI are not sufficient. In such cases, you would want to import a new visualization type and work on it. If you want to add a custom visual, you can go to Get More Visuals and you will be directed to the Microsoft Store from where you can download any of these. Finally, what is Get Data in Power BI? You can see Get Data in Power BI over on your home tab. Here you are able to import data. Basically, every time you open Power BI, you are directed to the Get Data homepage where you enter the different sources, the multiple sources available in Power BI and upload it and upload your data file onto the Power BI desktop or whichever Power BI app you're using and you're able to work on them. So it's a really amazing feature with so many servers being able to connect. What are the advantages and drawbacks of Power BI? Let's first, first discuss the advantages of Power BI. So Power BI is very comparatively cheaper as compared to other visualization softwares. It is easier to master the basics of Power BI. It's a very in fun and interactive software. Also, the fact that you can integrate Python and R scripts, which gives you the power to integrate Matplotlib and Seaborn type graphs onto your Power BI dashboard alongside the custom visualizations present. And one of the most important things is that Power BI comes up with frequent updates. So any drawbacks or any fallacies, Power BI counters it in every update. Coming on to the drawbacks, Power BI is not good when handling large data, si data sets. When you are joining more than two tables, Power BI would be able to handle it. However, if you have two tables, say A and B, and you're trying to connect it via two joins, so you're connecting two tables using more than one values, in that case, Power BI is not able to handle it as nicely as Tableau would. DAX language, while powerful and impressive, is very rigid and not easy to master. And that brings us to, the, to an end for our Power BI interview questions video. Thank you for watching Crack Concepts. If this video was helpful to you and you would like more such videos, please consider subscribing.